There's nothing especially new about using mirrors to capture the sun's energy. But Morocco's Warazazat concentrated solar power plant does it on an unprecedented scale. Stage one of the complex has more than half a million mirrors, arranged in over 800 rows. And an expansion to the $2.2 billion project is now underway. It will quadruple the facility's capacity over the next 18 months. Those mirrors concentrate the sun rays uh, and the energy is linked to the fluid. Uh, which uh, achieve a temperature of 393 degrees. This uh, fluid is collected and coming in the power block where we exchange the energy with water to produce steam that will drive the turbine. Okay? And from the turbine we produce electricity. As well as producing energy for the country's power grid during the day, the plant also stores heat in vast salt tanks. This means it can generate electricity for up to three hours after the sun goes down. The interesting thing is that we're producing solar energy after dock uh, because we are keeping this energy in the salt and then we're taking it back to the oil through these heat exchangers and uh, so this energy is used again to produce steam to drive the turbine as, as, as what happens during the day. Evening power prices are normally much higher than during the day, making electricity generated during this time more valuable. It's this advance in solar power and the expected financial returns of this project over the next 25 years that has attracted the support of the World Bank. We will only support a project which is requested by the government and we feel that there is strong ownership. Then we'll always do the due diligence to make sure that it is beneficial for that country, for the economy of that, of that country. This is an ambitious project, and when it's completed, this complex will generate about enough electricity for around 2 million people. That'll be a huge boost for Morocco's electricity supply, but it's also having an impact internationally, with China now planning projects based on this one, only 10 times the size. Concentrated solar power has been an expensive option in the past, but with an increasing number of countries now looking to build similar projects, many hope the cost of the technology will drop. This will make it more attractive to many countries around the world, which under their commitments to the Paris Climate Agreement must reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Warzazat, Morocco.